Hi, everybody. Mrs. Harwell here. Um, we're going to be going over geography today. So you're going to need to get out your geography section of your humanities booklet. You're going to use this to fill in your terms and also for a reference on your Great Circles map. Um, you're going to need a nice uh, sharp pencil, a ruler, make sure you have an eraser, a good eraser, um, and a blank sheet of paper. It needs to have no lines on it. A blank sheet of paper. So while you're gathering the supplies, I'm going to go ahead and present the slides for our geography terms. All right, and you are going to open up to the section in your um, book called Geography Dictionary Terms and Definitions. So we're going to go over um, several definitions today. Please check your HLAs to make sure that you're filling out the correct definitions for your level. Um, different levels have a different amount of definitions you need to fill in. So I'm gonna give you the um, definition, and then you're also going to, um, when you're done, fill out um, or draw in a nice colored sketch to show that you understand what that definition means. Our first term is continent. Uh, the geography term for, excuse me, the definition for continent is one of the seven great divisions of land on the globe. Our next term is ocean. The whole body of salt water that covers nearly three fourths of the earth's surface of the earth. I'm going to quickly go over these with some nice visuals and then we'll have them at the end for you um, to go ahead and pause the video together and, and write them out. But, Give you an idea of what you want to draw for that term. We have some nice visuals. All right. <clears throat> Don't forget um, about your uh, continents and ocean song that you have on your CD from your book box, but also that is available on Google Drive. All right, our next term is equator. The imaginary line around the middle of the earth at zero degrees latitude, halfway between the north and south poles. It divides the Earth into the northern and southern hemispheres. All right, here's those terms again. You can see equator's a little bit trimmed for you there. Um, but uh, go ahead and pause the video, write these down, and then make sure that you have a colored image or sketch next to your uh, definition so your teachers know that you understand them. All right, moving on, our next geography term is prime meridian. Prime meridian is a line of zero degrees longitude that runs through Greenwich, England. So if you think of um, the equator as the belt of the Earth, the prime meridian is like the jacket zipper. All right. Again, remember those visuals. Latitude, the distance of north or south of the equator measured by imaginary lines around the Earth. Longitude, distance east and west of the prime meridian, longitude lines meet at the poles. All right, here's those final definitions. Again, pause the video if you need to, and make sure you give your teacher a sketch that is colored, please. All right, so once you've finished up with your definitions, we are going to move on to our great circles map. So you're going to want to turn to the section um, in your book called Great Circles Map Directions for reference. There's a lot of really great tips, um, but I'm going to go over all of those in the video with you as well. So I'm going to stop sharing right now. Okay, so uh, you're going to need to get out that blank piece of paper and your pencil and your ruler. Um, and we're um, set the pencil ruler aside for a minute because we're going to start folding. So we're going to... Um, want to give ourselves the best example of where our um, great circle uh, lines are. Uh, we're just doing lines today. However, uh, we will do one of these maps at least once a month. And so you guys will have lots of practice. So take your time getting the lines correct because eventually you're gonna start adding continents and oceans. And um, those lines give you a real uh, uh, focus point for where to place everything. It helps it make your map look more um, symmetrical of where everything is supposed to be. So um, first things first, uh, we're gonna do some folding. Uh, we're gonna do what's called a hamburger and then a hot dog fold. So the hamburger fold, it looks kind of like take your, excuse me, take your piece of paper, fold it in half, 
just like a card. Try to line up those corners as crisply as you can in a nice hamburger fold. And we're going to do what's called the hot dog fold. So the hot dog fold runs the other direction, right in the middle. Again, make sure you crease these really nicely because you want to see those lines are going to help us create our uh, five circle lines. So once you create your, um, what's going to be your prime meridian and your equator, uh, we've got to do the rest of our lines. So we're going to do what's called a half hot dog. So I'll show you as we created a hot dog fold here. Pardon me. Sorry. Uh, we're going to take the bottom of our paper and we're going to create what's called a half hot dog. Like so. So that, that nice equator line, you're going to bring up the bottom of your paper to that equator line. And then you're going to bring the top of your paper to that equator line. Okay. So once you have done that, again, creasing it nicely so you can see where you're going. You're going to do, I guess what I call a three quarters hot dog. So when you did the half hot dog, you created a crease here. And you're going to use that crease. to meet up with the other crease. So you're gonna take that, um, the half hot dog that you created here, and you're gonna meet it with the bottom of your paper. And then you're gonna take the half hot dog here, and meet it with the top of your paper. Okay, and once we start drawing lines, it will become more clear and it won't be so confusing and like I said take your time I'll watch the video a few times if you need to all right finally again we created that extra line there and we're gonna meet it again at the bottom so should have a line right around in this area where we did our three-quarter hot dog you're gonna meet that at the very bottom like so and then again at the very top. Okay, so. Alright, so you should have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven creases now. And then again, of course, the one for you. Alright. So I am going to go ahead and share with you guys again so you can see why we created all these lines on your paper. All right, so you're going to take your um, nice creases that you made and with your ruler um, nice, laid nicely on the flat surface, you're gonna wanna follow those lines as closely as you can. So um, of course that hamburger fold we did right here, it's gonna be your prime meridian. And you don't need to write out the full term prime meridian, we use some abbreviations. And the abbreviation for prime meridian is obviously PM, capital P, capital M. All right, and then you're going to follow that center hot dog fold. That's going to be your equator. Again, lay your ruler out to follow that line as closely as you can. And we're going to uh, label that with a capital E. Okay, now there were a couple of lines that we created in this area. Those were our half hot dogs. We're going to ignore those right now. Because if you look at your world map, you'll notice that... Um, these lines in the center are closer together than our Arctic and Antarctic circles. So let's start, uh, continue from the center. We did our equator. Just above the equator is the Tropic of Cap or me, the Tropic of Cancer. And so you're gonna follow that as closely as you can and uh, label that with capital T, capital C. Just below the equator, we have our Tropic of Capricorn that is um, abbreviated with capital T, capital C, lowercase p. All right, and then like I said again, you're gonna ignore that crease for the half hot dog and you're gonna come on down to that bottom line that we created at the very bottom. Um, and this is our Antarctic Circle line and the abbreviation for that is capital A, lowercase n, and t, capital C. And then again, going to the top, we're going to skip our half hot dog here and go to our Arctic circle sign at the very top, abbreviated capital A, lowercase r, 
lowercase c, capital C. All right, for most of our levels, that's pretty much all we're gonna be doing. Uh, please make sure that you put your name at the bottom and the week due. Um, like I said, you will be doing one of these at least every month. Um, so it's important <clears throat> to keep those separated and let your teacher know what week you're actually turning in for. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue for our upper levels. We have some additional information for you to put down on your great circles and apps. Now this is optional for a dialectic one, um, but a requirement for dialectic two. Um, you're gonna go ahead and fill in your latitude and longitude lines, which are at five degree intervals. And you're gonna label these on the west and the north side of your map. Remember to please reference um, your uh, great circles map section to make sure you're putting those the way that your teacher would like to see them. All right, with those latitude and longitude lines in, you're gonna use um, a blue colored pencil and you're going to um, do some bodies of water. <clears throat> you wanna do light blue to color in the water and then you're going to label them with a slightly darker color, um, the several bodies of water we're showing here. I'm going to do the Mediterranean Sea, <coughs> the um, Adriatic Sea, the Black Sea, the Baltic Sea, the North Sea, and the Atlantic Ocean. To give you some point of reference here, we have a little boot in Italy, the uh, other parts of Europe, tops of um, Africa here. We have another picture to give you some more. Visuals of where these are supposed to be placed, Baltic, North Sea, Atlantic Ocean, Adriatic Sea. All right. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to um, reach out to your teachers. They have lots of experience with um, making these great circles maps. And we understand it might be kind of frustrating, especially if this is your first time doing them. Um, but I, I promise you will get really good at it and you'll be pretty amazed with uh, what you'll be able to create um, in trying our world. So um, uh, take your time uh, and I hope to see you in class soon. Okay, thanks, bye.